Ron and Viv as well. They've done absolutely <coughs> tremendous work and I just want to thank her and really truly she's played a blinder and so has um, Cove Community for Change, our team, who's helped me enormously over the last few years really, but definitely the last few weeks knocking on doors. And as Joan said earlier, I think that that is one of the most important things that we, we do need right now. It is for everybody to kind of back this because this seat, if it's one, is for us. Our seat belongs to the people, it belongs to the working class. And I want to bring that voice into the chamber. I want to bring that struggle um, that I've been involved with over many years and the empowerment that that brings to communities when we are in struggle together and when we are campaigning for our rights. I really think that's fundamental to my politics and my type of politics and what I want to do. I can't do it alone. I don't want to do it alone. I want to do it with my community and I want to do it right and I want to bring change that really will be transformative. I think that we had that type of moment within the right to water locally and nationally and I know I was involved too throughout Cork and helping to organise communities fight back because I really do believe that it isn't just parochial and it isn't about constituencies, it's about a class and it's about that struggle and, and making those connections. That's why I'm a member of not one union but two unions, Independent Workers Union and I'm the branch secretary of Freenet Community. I really want to, I suppose, get that message across too as Joan said, Organised struggle in the workplace is really, really important because it allows us to reach out to each other. But in fact, it is connected to the community, and that's why in a community, to me anyway, is really, really important. And it's an important part of my politics and my life. Um, I suppose years and years ago, when I was really, really young, it was my grandfather instilled in me a sense of kind of social justice and politics. He was hugely political um, and a fantastic mind. Um, he used to teach the lads about the horses, but he used to teach me about politics. And we would have those conversations because I wasn't really interested in the horses, but I was very interested in politics. And um, he, I suppose I really gave him that kind of audience, you know, that, that listened to him and I, I, everything they said. We'd have great debates and great arguments. Um, but the one thing I always said was always stick up for people who maybe have less or who maybe don't have that voice. That was kind of something that he would instill. And that really kind of, I suppose it was formative years so that, that, you know, stuck. Um, and then I grew up in the 80s, so there was satirism and there was the minor strike and all these things I saw, you know, the H-box strike and all these things just felt really unjust as a child. I marched um, with the part against apartheid with the Dunstores workers in Cork. I remember doing that. I was very young at the time. And I remember thinking, what was going on out there was so wrong and that, you know, you get moved into action, I think, anyway. And I didn't, eventually millions of people did and eventually the fall of apartheid came and, you know, but to this day you can still see, and it is happening, there's that creeping racism, there's that thing against direct provision, against refugees, all this kind of stuff, it's still there underneath the surface. And our job, especially as people who stand up for the rights of people. We have to be inclusive, it has to be broad. All of this, all of the struggle includes all people, I believe anyway. Um, my first, um, I suppose, when I stepped into kind of real activism was around domestic violence actually. And myself and another few women in Cork City, through our lived experience of domestic violence, we ended up um, setting up the very first helpline in Cork City for women who had suffered from domestic violence and who had gotten out of their relationships or maybe they were still in them and we offered support to those women and that was a real eye-opener to me um, when we were kind of trying to get funding for this and you know try and get the word out there that we were here and it was just really really good and there were really strong women that I was involved with at that time and I was with them for a number of years before leaving because I'd had my third baby he was quite cross actually, so I kind of <laughs> dedicated my time to my son and um, so I kind of did that and I kind of were then and I did the, the kind of mammy thing for a bit which I, I loved and I enjoyed but even throughout that I was all studying or trying to, to keep my mind occupied so that I would kind of come back to this which I did and I did then through in 2010 when the household charge came about and there was a meeting being held down in the Commodore Hotel 
It was really, really nice. And my mum rang me and she said, will you take us down to that meeting? I was a bit reluctant, but I said, come on, so we'll go down. And I found at that meeting that I kind of put my hand up and said, I'd hand out a few leaflets. And here I am, all these years later, because from, from that moment, that's where we, all met. That's where we yeah. met, yeah. and from, from that group, or, well, it actually was quite a good meeting, it was a good turnout, yeah, but yeah. We, did, we created Cove Says No to Austerity. Mm. Now, there was a lot of Says No groups sprung up around the country at that time, but we stuck Says No to Austerity at the end of ours, because we believed that it wasn't just going to be a single issue, there were many issues. And we knew that once the bank bailout happened and once austerity hit, it was going to be savage. Mm. And it was going to destroy families, destroy lives. And unfortunately, how right were we? Mm -hmm. um, throughout the time when the household charge, the property tax, the marches, the white line protests along our town, sometimes we'd only be five people walking on the, yeah. the, the line of our town, you know? And, You'd be kind of mortified. I mean, I'm not saying that that was an easy thing to do, but it was a very necessary thing to do. And it's always necessary, and it doesn't matter if you're standing alone, if you're standing up for the right people, and you know, you're doing the right thing, like, you're always going to do that. And we used to do that. And it did pay off because eventually, when Murphy's came over the bridge to install the first meters, the people of Cove responded, and it was us that they turned to and called. And it was true that unique experience in my opinion anyway in this town um, and watching how people organized and politicized you know and we were able to discuss things that we had never discussed our community seemed to come back together after many many years of kind of doing their own thing and not really connecting but we did connect and we connected not just on water where I found that I would be sitting in a gazebo or a tent or a caravan and we were talking about issues beyond water. And it was really, really great because it allowed for debate and discussion on other things. And I think that that was fantastic because it showed me that true struggle and true organizing and action, we really can bring change. We absolutely can bring change. And I know that we can because we, we've seen that we can. Um, and that's what I want to continue to do. So. My policies are based on the right to change policies. I want to be that voice in the, in the heart of our chamber mm -hmm. for the people, but I want us to do it together, like to, to bring up the issues together, to fight for them and to continue to be. I'm a fighter, I'm a fighting campaigner, I'll be a fighting politician, that's who I am. Um, and I want people to be, I suppose, inspired, educated by that, to, to, to do that and to... <coughs> stick up for ourselves in our class because our earth, genuinely our earth is dying, it's, it's, it's it, catastrophic what's mm. facing this planet, mm. you know, so we need to get a handle on that, we need to listen to our children, we need to listen to, they are the future generations and we have got to fight for them, this, it, the entire system has to change, it has to change. The, the system that we're living at, uh, under at the moment is killing us, it's literally killing us. And, you know, local politics, in, in, we are the first line of defence, I believe, you know, and we have to be the leaders and we have to build the change and build it for real. Um, grassroots organising, I believe, is what will help bring about that change and, and be sustained through that. Um, I suppose other than that, I'm just really, really happy to be going forward. I was in between for a long time, whether this was the right thing or the wrong thing over the years. Um, I would always, because I suppose I'm a campaigner and I'm an activist and I, I like that and I, I like organising things. But to me, I guess, I see who's in there and I see that things are not getting better at all at any, any level. And I kind of thought, well, I'm 48 and I thought, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to just step into that ring now with them and do it for all of us. But we all have a part to play in that, in, in that fight and in that struggle. As I said at the start, it's our seat and it belongs to us. Mm -hmm. And if we are lucky and if we win and win that day, then it's for all of us. And that means that there will be town hall meetings round table discussions, 
it'll be street meetings, it'll be kitchen, it'll be whatever mm -hmm. it is that we need to organise ourselves to be a really powerful force for change, not just in this community, but right across the communities. It means bringing people together and it means finding, I suppose, our common ground and the common struggles and raising each other up and then we will tackle them and then we will win. And I know we will. So thank you. Well done. Yeah. Or anything that you want Can to add, more than